Hey guys, so I know I've been busy, I've been missing for a while. I've just been super busy. I really just haven't had time to do anything. So I finally, I went to Sephora the other day and I picked up a few things. One of them was this Josie Moran Argon Black Oil Mascara. And then another thing was just this Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil sharpener. Looks like this. And I went online first before I purchased this. And I wanted to see if it would fit the Pro Pencil. Because, you know, I have this Pro Pencil. It's all icky now. Because I haven't had a pencil sharpener. So, I was looking online to make sure it would fit this. Because it's a pretty fat pencil. And um, everybody on there was saying about how it doesn't fit this. Like, don't waste your money, whatever. So I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I was in Sephora, and I decided to take a look at it, and, you know, look, it looks like this, and you just pop this part out, and it's a perfect fit for the Pro Pencil. So I guess just a lot of people aren't realizing that, so that's just a little tip for you. All right, and the last thing that I picked up was this. Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And let me open it up. Alright, so it looks like this. I just took the lid off. It looks like this with the lid on. And I got it in the color nude. And I guess it's good for my pink undertones. Well, whatever. I have a really hard time finding foundation because a lot of them are made for yellow undertones. But I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can see. It has really good coverage. So far, I really like it. It went on really, really well. Um, it didn't take a lot. A little bit went a long way. And it seems really buildable. I really like the coverage. It's really, really nice. Of course, I'd have to wear it for a while and let you guys know what I think, but right now I seem to really like it. I did make a video putting it, the foundation on, but my camera was out of focus the entire time, so, you know, you win some, you lose some, and I lost this one. But, so this is what it looks like right now. And so far, I would really recommend it. I mean, like I said, I would have to wear it. I do have oily skin, so I'd have to see how it held up against my oily skin. But right now, I like it. Sorry, my hair is so icky. I had to. It's been raining today, and I had to go out in the rain earlier, and I really didn't want to do my hair and have it get all icky. So that's what it looks like right now. Oh well. But yeah, so I really do like this foundation so far, and I would recommend it. It is really nice. I just used my beauty blender to apply it, and it just went on so well. I just, it looks good. I just really like it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do have a moisturizer on. I used this First Aid Beauty ultra repair cream and I got it in my ipsy bag I don't know if you guys have heard of ipsy before it looks like this little bag they send you a cute little makeup bag every month and then about five products I want to say and it's ten dollars and the shipping's included so it's a pretty good deal I mean you get some pretty cute stuff in there and you get to take a quiz ahead of time to kind of um like It'll match your hair color, like your eye color, your skin tone, so you don't get like super dark foundation or something, or way too light foundation. And then, um, it's just, you can put things like you don't want nail polish or something. Like, you just take a quiz of things that you like, and they'll send you things like that. Like, if you hate eyeliner, they won't send you eyeliner. So, I just really like it. Um, if you're interested in that, I'll put that link in the down bar. And then I have the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer on also. So, alright. Well, this is it. Thank you for watching. Bye.